Hi everyone, this is the IoT Show. I'm Olivier, your host. Thanks for watching. Today we are at the uh, IoT Partner Summit and we got the chance to interview some of our top partners for IoT. And right now I have Harry from LNT. Nice to have you on the show, Harry. Thanks for coming. Likewise, pleasure to be here. Enjoying the show. Do you want to rapidly introduce yourself sure. and LNT and what you guys are doing? Absolutely. So uh, my name is Hari Natarajan. I manage uh, LNT's. Uh, Global Alliances. I'm based here in Redmond, Washington, and uh, LNT, as you know, is uh, an eight-decade-old uh, engineering process construction in, in industrial and manufacturing company. We're about 19 billion in size globally. Uh, we handle typically the hairiest projects in the world. You want to build the most complex uh, ports, uh, airports. Um, you want to build uh, new plants mm -hmm. uh, to uh, warehouses, what have you. Uh, you would call LNT, uh, and we're typically uh, look, looked at as the Bechtel of uh, uh, Middle East and Asia. Okay. And in that capacity, uh, we cover a wide range of industries. Uh, 16 billion of our services really comes from a lot of infrastructure and capital intensive projects where um, uh, productivity, mm -hmm. efficiency, um, you know, uh, uh, the uptime assets, asset uptime mm -hmm. and all of that is very important for our business, for our customers and for the profitability that our business drives. Um, and so uh, within LNT's uh, 19 billion, about 3 billion of that comes from services okay. and that includes technology services. And that's the reason why we're here today because a lot of the technology that Microsoft is developing today uh, specifically leveraging the Azure cloud is fundamental to how we deliver that productivity and asset uh, performance uh, for ourselves and for our customers. Awesome. Can you give us a concrete example of how IoT is useful for you guys as a technology and how you implement that? You were talking about airports and factories and things like that. Do you have an example? You might not want to name a customer, that's okay, but like an example of a big project you guys have been building and where the IoT technology helped you implement all we just sure. said, right? Absolutely. Uh, so maybe I should back up just a second to give you a sense of uh, uh, why LNT is here today in a way because uh, one of the things that's ex ex you know very clear to everybody is digital transformation is underway for every possible industry. It's impacting everything from engineering your products mm -hmm. to your sales and marketing to your manufacturing shop floor and everything that has to do with your customer services. Yep. Uh, LNT is at the center of delivering that digital transformation for a lot of our engineering process, construction, and industrial and manufacturing customers. Yep. Uh, but we also have huge infrastructure requirements on our own. For example, um, LNT today has about 65,000 heavy engineering assets around the world. Uh, think of things like large cranes, mm -hmm. earth movers. These are like five-story, ten-story, uh, you know, sized earth movers and stuff. Big toys. Those <laughs> Big are toys. huge, yeah. expensive assets cost tens of millions of dollars. Mm -hmm. And so for us, as an example, we needed to understand uh, how those assets are doing, where they are, mm -hmm. how they're doing, are they productive, uh, or do they have any known failures that we should be aware of, and so on. And so two years ago, we started a pilot with Microsoft, uh, Azure IoT in fact, okay. to deploy uh, Azure IoT and track these assets, mm -hmm. make sure we get real-time telemetry on how these assets are doing, mm -hmm. how productive they are, do they have any failures that we need to be aware of that are coming up. Uh, and so I'm very glad to say that LNT itself is a proud consumer of all this digital transformation. Okay. And Azure and Azure IoT as well. Uh, and so we have about 10,000 assets today that are monitored in real time uh, using Azure IoT. Uh, and we're excited because it directly impacts our ability to be productive as a business, for our assets to be available mm -hmm. at the right place at the right time with the right level of uh, uh, you know, manpower to man them and, and support that. Um, and we're seeing great advances in uh, our ability to predict ROI mm -hmm. for our digital transformation and Azure IoT implementation as well. You, you had choices when you decided to get onto you know, IoT technology, or actually not get onto because you were already in that area, but to choose one partner, one vendor for cloud to implement your solutions. Right. So why Azure IoT versus other ones out there? There's like specific things that come to mind when, when you did the choice. Yes, um, 
you're absolutely right. I think when we started out on this journey a few years ago, we had many choices. Uh, and as a matter of fact, I think we try them all. Um, and the idea there was for us to understand the, what are the relative yeah, strengths yeah. and capabilities of each of these. What I like about where we are today is, um, as a business, l and has bet on Azure. Uh, we, uh, we went down the journey of understanding um, where Microsoft is making investments today to enrich the Azure cloud and the Azure capabilities. Um, and uh, what we have been very impressed about is the vision behind how that technology is developed and designed specifically for applications that we manage as an example, but also horizontally. For example, IoT is a very complex subject. Uh, you're talking about being able to not just connect with things, mm -hmm. but you know, pull data from all of those things manage that data, have you know outcomes from that data. Yep. What we like about the way Azure, the Azure Cloud and Azure IoT have been designed is a lot of thought has gone into not just how you can manage the IoT endpoints, mm -hmm. but how you can manage the IoT ecosystem. Uh, for example, how do you manage IoT security? Mm -hmm. How do you manage thousands of IoT devices in a way that's seamless all the time? And so I'm excited about um, uh, Azure and Azure Digital Twins as an example, the Azure IoT Hub, the IoT security uh, protocols uh, and everything that you're managing, the device and connectivity management and all of that. So fundamentally, where, where I think we make a big difference uh, in, in our evaluation is how can uh, a particular platform not just impact what we want to do today, mm -hmm. but how we can manage the entire ecosystem over the next five or 10 years. Digital transformation is not going to be a one day, a one month, or a one year event. It's going to be a continuous process of improvement, yeah. and a process of improvement where we're confident the Microsoft Azure platform steps in and provides a, the, all the right resources to execute. And, and as a matter of fact, we need these partnerships for us to actually evolve in the right direction. Yes. So we look forward to where we're going. Yes. One last word, yep. if you had to qualify that partnership between LNP and, and uh, Azure IT, what would it be? One, two words. Profitable growth. Awesome. Love right? It. Markets and pro profitable growth. So I, th I think we've, uh, we're starting to see the ROI from all our Azure deployments come in, and mm -hmm. that is important for us to assess. It's important for our customers to assess. It's important for Microsoft. And uh -huh. so all said and done, it's, it's profitable growth. Azure IoT powers profitable growth for the businesses that we serve today. Awesome. Thanks a lot, Ari. Of course. My pleasure. Thanks for watching the IoT Show. Don't forget to subscribe.